Hey guys, this is Mike from BTech Reviews here, and today we take a look at the fingerprint sensor and face unlock on the TCL 20 Pro 5G. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So today we're going to take a look at the fingerprint unlock and the face unlock on the TCL 20 Pro 5G. So again, big shout outs for T to TCL for sending this device out to me. Beautiful design device, by the way. And I I've been enjoying using this for the past couple weeks. So again, big shout out to them. Uh, for the most part though, there's a few quirks about this phone that you may like or dislike. One of them is going to be, again, the fingerprint sensor over here. Hopefully I can save that for a thumbnail, right? Uh, but anyways, yeah, for the most part, you know, again, a lot a lot of, uh, you know, manufacturers are sort of transitioning uh, to in-screen in fingerprint sensors, right? And TCL last year actually did come out with this with their uh, TCL 10 Pro device. Now, I can tell you one thing that the TCL 10 Pro's fingerprint sensor was kind of trash compared to this one so let's go ahead and just kind of get the, a test going for for this one again it you know it does give you a little layout there so it is relatively snappier than the 10 pros uh fingerprint sensor you know you still get errors i'm not gonna lie like um let's see if we can just do this facing down really quick you know again i do have two fingerprints on here and it, for the most part, you know, it picks up maybe like two out of three times it'll pick up, pick it up. But again, like this is again something that I'm just not a fan of, you know. So I'm, you know, not that I want TCL to revert back to, you know, using the the back uh, screen fingerprint sensors, but those ones work and they work just fine, right? Um, in this case, you know, I know I know they have them on their other models like the the 20 SC. Um, you know by itself you know what I mean uh, but again you know of course this this specific model is, is going to be catered to people that want something a little more higher end right and again it, you know it's really just going to vary on you know the person using the actual device you know what I mean again maybe for me like again it does work you know what I mean Ooh, look at that I can add a function but for the most part and again, I'm just I'm gonna I'm just gonna leave it with the screen off, right? I have my always on display. It works, you know what I mean. Uh, it's not as fast as I would like it to be. Obviously, you can tell there's a little bit of a delay, like a few milliseconds of a delay. But for the most part, you know, I think it does work very well compared to the TCL 10 Pro, uh, which again, this is the TCL 20 Pro. So obviously, you know, they you know whatever they did added improvements to the actual device. I'm I'm left-handed, so that's why I'm using my left thumb. But I do have my right thumb uh, keyed in as well here, just to test that out for you guys. And again, it you know it's pretty solid. You know what I mean? Again, two out of three times, most most of the time, you know, um, if you're not gonna get it. It's not gonna be perfect, right? You know, especially if you're like in the dark and you don't know what's happening. But even then, like it tells you where to put your fingerprint. So let's test out the the camera app now. So this this. Uh, also it does offer face unlock uh, with the device so for those of you who you know want that because you see it in other phones like you know iPhones for instance or whatever or maybe other Android devices right let's take a look so here instead of using my thumb I'm just gonna swipe up so I don't know if you guys can catch that or not but there is like a little thing that says like face unlock over here I don't know if you guys can see that or not there you go. Let's see. If you can do, let's see. If we can see that again, really quick. Hold on. Device unlocked by face. You see that? So I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna put the phone a little back, though. It works relatively quick, considering. So if you guys don't want to hassle with the fingerprint sensor, uh, you can set that up as well. And again, to do that, you know, you're gonna go to uh, your security area of the device, right? Security and biometrics, right? So you do have. Again, ooh, there's a security update, by the way, I need to look at, by the way. Check for updates. Let's take a look. And this is one thing I love about TCL's UI is it's very clean and, and polished. Let's go back there really quick. But, yeah, again, you can set up a, a pin lock or, you know, a, a pattern. Right now, again, I have two fingerprints set up, and I do have face unlock. And it, do, it does have what's called smart unlock also. Let me go ahead and put in my password really quick just so that we can uh, get that going. Uh, but it's saying, what is smart lock? Keep your device unlocked when it's safe with you. Smart lock can do this by recognizing signals like when your device is in your pocket or near you. 
uh, at home. So again, you know, it, it does have features like on body detection, right? Uh, while it's on you so again and then you have other things like trusted places at location where the device should be unlocked so you know again if you're at home it'll it'll check your location it'll make sure it knows that it's you right uh, trusted devices add device to keep this one unlocked when it's nearby uh, so again um, that's pretty cool I think that's pretty cool that it does have this feature right because you won't see this on other devices but you can add a trusted devices like a, a car Bluetooth system uh, a Bluetooth watch etc like that you know what I mean um, etc like that but for the most part you know to keep your phone safe you know again a lot of people really still continue to trust uh, fingerprint sensor IDs uh, and a lot of people will disable face unlocks because like a lot of times in the past you know a lot of people would just do phone hacks where it would be like you know they would just you know do take find a picture of you uh, smiling or something and then the phone would recognize it and then it would just unlock but for the most part guys again this is just my take on on the uh, TCL 20 Pro 5G fingerprint sensor if I had to grade it on a scale of 1 to 10 guys I'm gonna be honest with you I'll probably give it a 7 uh, which is a major improvement from last year's TCL 10 Pro uh, 7 out of 10 is not bad considering you know what I mean face unlock again t face unlock would be probably a 9 of 10 uh, to me it's a lot more it's a lot quicker it's a lot more fast again it really just depends on your environment if you're outside or if you're inside in the dark right uh, it does it does allow you if you're in the dark it, it does have have a thing where it will brighten the screen uh, if you guys are in a dark environment that when it's not picking up so just keep that in mind so again guys uh, if you have any questions about the TCL 20 Pro 5G go ahead and leave them down in the comment section below maybe I'll make another video about that right but for now I'm just enjoying the device the device uh, soon hopefully I'll have a, a full review and a gaming uh, separate video for that so again guys Mike from B Tech Review signing off thanks again for watching we'll see you guys next time